Good morning, faithful. We welcome you to join us once again here in the morning prayers of today and to offer these prayers and to continue to worship in our sanctuary here, to continue to offer for your candles to be lit if you are praying with us from afar. I see Steve is here and is eager to light your candles and receive your prayers. So may we continue to pray all as one and gather today in this church. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, our hope, glory to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Eleisonimasoteos katutomegaleosu theumethasu epakuson ke eleison. Amen. Save the Lord your people, bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful of the enemy, and may your cross protect your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But now and forever, the ages of ages. Amen. You are lifted up on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, grant them victories against their adversaries, and for an ally, Lord, may they have you, peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and forever, the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome Hashem will protect you to good and praise with the Theotokos. Do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you call to rule. Grant them victory from heaven. If you give birth to God, not truly blessed. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and undivided and life-giving Trinity, always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. You, O Lord, shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. You, O Lord, shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, I greatly multiplied of those who afflict me. Many have risen up against me. Many, many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protection, my glory, the one lifting up my head. I have cried out to the Lord with my voice, and he has answered me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake and I rise, because the Lord is helping me. I will not be afraid of the myriad of people who together attacking me from all sides. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck down all those opposing me in vain. You have shattered the teeth of sinners. 
Salvation is from the Lord, and may your blessing, O God, be upon your people. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, and do not discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have pierced me, and your hand has come down upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my many transgressions has risen above my head. As a heavy burden, they weigh down upon me. My wounds have become foul and are festering, and because of my imprudent folly, I am suffering and utterly dejected, and I go about all the day long in misery. For my loins are filled with agonizing pain, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled, groaning with deep sighs of pain from my heart. O Lord, my every desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, and my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes, that too, is no longer with me. My friends and my neighbors have come near to stand against me, and my close relatives stand afar off. And those seeking my soul were violent, and those seeking to harm me spoke vain things, plotting deceitful things all the day long. But as a deaf man I did not listen, and I stood there, and as a mute did not open his mouth. And so I became like a man who does not hear, and who does not have any retort in his mouth. For upon you, O Lord, I have placed my hope. You, O Lord, my God, are the one to hear me. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. Let them not be boastful over me when my foot slips. For I am well prepared and ready to be scourged, and my pain is always within me. For I acknowledge and declare my iniquity and would sorrowfully compensate for my sins. But my enemies live and have become stronger than I, and those who hate me without cause have multiplied. Now those who render me evil instead of good have slandered me because I have pursued justice. Do not forsake me then, O Lord my God. Do not depart from within me. Come directly to help me, O Lord, God of my salvation. O God, my God, to you I rise early at dawn. My soul thirsts for you. In many ways, my body yearns for you, as if in a desert land, impassable and parched, with such strong desire, I appear before you in the holy mountain to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is far better than the earthly gift of life, and my lips readily praise and glorify you. Thus I will continue to bless you throughout my life and to raise my hand for prayer in your name. My soul will thus be satisfied and with choice of food, of marrow and fat, and with a joyful lips my mouth will praise you. As often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper. So in the shelter of your wings I will always and also rejoice. My soul clings with and follows closely behind you and your right hand has upheld me. But they who are in vain, who have sought my soul, will enter the lowest parts of the earth. They will be surrendered to those who swords in their hand and become the prey of jackals. The king, however, will now rejoice in the Lord God, and everyone who vows allegiance to him will be praised, while the mouth of those speaking unjustly will now surely be shut. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer come before you, and incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with troubles, and my life has touched Hades. I am accounted as one that go down into the pit of death, having become a man who is helpless, free only among the dead. I resemble wounded men, cast aside asleep in a grave whom you remember no more, and who are thrust aside by your hand. You have placed me in the deepest pit in dark places and in the shadow of death. The blows of your anger have fallen upon me, and all your successive ways you have directed upon me. You have distanced my acquaintances far from me and have made me abhorrent to them. I am abandoned in isolation and unable to escape. My eyesight has grown weak in my misery, but I've cried to you, O Lord, all the day long. You have lifted up my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will the physicians raise them up as shadows to acknowledge you? Surely no one in the grave will relate your mercy and your truth in the place of perdition. Will your wonders be made known in the place of darkness and your justice in the land of oblivion? And so I've cried to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer will come to you. Why, O Lord, do you push me away and push my soul and turn your face away from me? I am poor and in tribulations from my youth, and while briefly raised, I was again humbled and perplexed. Your wrath has swept over me, your threats have utterly alarmed me, and they have immersed me as if in water all the day long, but have totally encompassed me. 
You have distanced me from friends and neighbors and my acquaintances because of my long struggle with illness. Bless the Lord of my soul, and let all those within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all his benefactions. He pardons all your iniquities, and he heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from corruption. He crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your needs with good things, and youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and justice to all who are wronged. He has made his ways known to Moses, his will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering, and abounding in steadfast love. He will all, not always be angry, nor will he be wrathful forever. For he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor does he reward us according to our iniquities. For as the height of heaven is from far from the earth, so greatly has the Lord extended his mercy to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father is compassionate to his sons, so the Lord is compassionate on those who fear him. For he knows well how we were formed. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He will flourish, but as a flower of the field, for the wind will pass through it and, it will, no, and will soon disappear and no one will recognize its place any longer. But the mercy of the Lord remains forever and ever upon those who fear him, and his righteousness remains upon the sons of sons who keep his covenant and remember his commandments and to observe them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless Lord, all you as angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you as heavenly powers, his ministers who carry out his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in all places of dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Accept my supplication in your, tru in your truthfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter judgment with your spirit and your servant, for no one living can be justified before you. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He's held my life to the ground, making me sit in dark places like those of long dead. And my spirit within me became despondent while my heart was deeply troubled. I remember the days of old, I pondered on all your works, reflecting on the creations of your hands. I lift up my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Quickly answer me, O oh my Lord, my spirit is expiring. Do not turn your face away from me, at least of like those who have gone down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have placed my hope in you. Make known to me, O oh Lord, the way I must follow, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Rescue me from my enemies, O oh Lord, for in you I have taken refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. You shall, your good spirit shall guide me on the straight and upright path. For your sake of your name, O Lord, grant me life and your righteousness, bring my soul out of affliction. And in your mercy, utterly destroy my enemies and bring to nothing all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, the ages of ages, amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. And erini tikirio da i thoman, i eleiso, i pati sano ten erini, sketi soteria stom psychoni mon tikirio da i thoman, i eleiso, i pati serini stu simbaros cosmo evstathia stonaio tu tu eclision. Kitis tom pandon en os eos tu kirio da ithoman. Kirie ere iso. I par tu aiu i kututu ke tome da piste os ev la vias ke fovothiu i si ondan en afto tu kirio da ithoman. Kirie ere iso. I par ton ev savon ke orthodoxon christianon tu kirio da ithoman. Kirie ere iso. I par tu ar hipiscopu i mon Alexiu, tu tu miu presbiteriu, ti sen Christo di Aconias, pandos tu cliru, ke tu lao tu kiriu da i thoman. I dia ere 
for our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, and the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, and captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, medical workers, and scientists, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us. Have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. O you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Theos, Kyrios, Kepephanenimin, Evlogimenos, O Echomenos, and Onomati Kyriou. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord, and is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. When you descended unto death, O Lord, who yourself are immortal life, then did you mortify Hades by the lightning flash of your divinity. Also when you raise the dead from the nether world, all the powers of the heavens were crying out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. All surpassing every thought, all surpassing glory, O Theotokos, all your miseries, for while bearing the seal of purity and preserved in virginity, you were deemed a mother in truth, for the true God you gave birth. To him pray fervently, entreating him to save our soul. Have mercy on us, O God. According to your great <clears throat> mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. When he took down your immaculate body from the cross, the honorable
adorable Joseph, wrapped it in a clean linen and shroud with spices, and laid it for burial in a new tomb. But on the third day you arose, O Lord, and granted the world your great mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the angels standing at the sepulchre cried out and said to the ointment bearing women, the ointments are appropriate for mortal man, but Christ has been shown to be a stranger to decay. So go and cry aloud, the Lord has risen and granted the world his great mercy. Both now and ever, unto the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely glorified, O Virgin Theotokos. We sing your praise, for by means of your son's crucifixion has Hades been overthrown, and death itself has died. When heaven risen, who once were dead and have been made worthy of life, we receive the original enjoyment of paradise. And therefore, with thanksgiving, we send up glory to Christ our God, because he is powerful and all alone very merciful. Not barring the stone of the tomb from being sealed shut, you rose and you granted unto all the rock of faith. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the host of your disciples and the ointment bearing women are with one accord exalting. Together with them we celebrate the common feast to glorify and honor your resurrection. And through them, O Lord, who loves humanity, bestow on your people the great mercy. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, for through him who from you became incarnate was Hades taken prisoner, and Adam has been summoned back, the curse has been neutralized, and Eve has been liberated, death has been put to death, and we have been brought to life, extolling we cried out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure. Glory to you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes, <coughs> while the host of the angels <coughs> saw how you were accounted among the dead, and they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. <laughs> Either the emission tafuse or satir gar exenis to me matos. Blessed are you, O Lord, to be statues. Very early in the morning, the mayberry woman was sing to your tomb, lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time of limitation is ended. Weep no more. 
Go announce the resurrection to the apostle. Have logi tosi kiri edi dakson meta dike omatasu. When the myrrh bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of the angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he is risen from the sepulchre. Tu uksa patri ke iron ke alio premati Broskin nu men pateran get tu tu toni yonten Katonai iop nefma Dina i antriada in mi dinu sisa Sinti sarafem grazondas donaios Aios, aios i kirie Ok now and ever Unto the ages of ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in the place of sorrow. He from you became God, God and God and man, has directed to him life who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o teos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Eti keti nirini te kiriu da i thoman. Ire leiso. Abuso son eleison, que de afilax son imaso teos, tis in hariti. Ia leison, tis panaia sacrando per abloi menis en doxu de spinissimo de otoku, que ai parthenu marias meta pandon tanaium nimon ef sandes, e aftus que alilus que passant in zo inimon, Christot Theo Parathometha. More blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, <coughs> now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. After the passion of Christ God, the woman was sent to the tomb to anoint your body, and they saw angels in the sepulchre. And they were amazed, for they heard them saying, The Lord has risen and granted the world great mercy. Granted the world great mercy. Uh, Savior, I direct the eyes of my heart unto you in heaven. Save me, I pray, shining on me on your resplendence. Have mercy on me, O Christ, on who hourly commit sin against you manifoldly. And give us means before the end to turn you into repentance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit is the proper to rule, and to hallow, and to move creation. For He is God, co-essential with the <laughs> Fathers and the Logos. If the Lord were not among us, who would be sufficient to preserve Himself, uninjured from the enemy and murder of mankind? Hand me not to the teeth of thy enemies, O my Savior, who are in manner of lion. They shall come against me, O servant. Lux abatir ke yogi ayv nevati, kenin ke ayin kisisunos, nunan onun amin, ayi ayv nevati, zorar hi ke segeres, banda karitik tista, o theo son dinami, sintiri en patri, dialog de. They whose confidence is the Lord are like the holy mountain, they are no way shaken by the assaults of Belial. Oh. Let those who live in God not stretch their forth their hands in unlawful acts, for Christ will not suffer it 
His lot to be oppressed by the rod of sinners. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit, thus, in addition, all wisdom also issue. Whence his grace to the apostles and the martyrs for their contest receive the crown and the prophets are seared. Awaken, O Lord my God, in the ordinance of your commanded, so the congregation of the people shall surround you. Exit gertiti, Kyrios Theos mu, un prosgab mition in tilion, que signo goli laon que kiklos eise. O Lord my God, in you I hope, Awake, O Lord my God, in the ordinance you commanded, so the congregation of the peoples shall surround you. You rose from the tomb, O Savior, O Powerful, in Hades, behold the marvel that was struck with fear, and the dead were rising up, and creation beholds and rejoices with you, and Adam is also exalted. O my Savior, and the world ever sings your praise. And the world ever sings your praise. You are the light of those in darkness. You are the resurrection of all and the life of mortals. And with yourself, you resurrected everyone, O Savior, despoiling the dominion of death and smashing the gates of Hades, O Word. The mortals beholding the miracle marveled and all your creation rejoices in your resurrection, O lover of mankind. Therefore, we all glorify and extol your condescension. O my Savior and the world ever sings your praise. O my Savior and the world ever sings your praise. On October 31st, we commemorate the holy apostles of the 70, Sakis, Apelis, Amplias, Urban, Narcissus, and Arstabulus. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Ipachimos the Egyptian. We also commemorate the father among the saints, Iakovos, Bishop of Migonia, and one of the 318 Holy Fathers in Nicaea. On this day, there is also the narrative by the Bishop Theodoritios about the life and contest of an anonymous confessor. We also commemorate the Holy New Martyrs Nicholas, who witnessed in Chios in 1754. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. I open my mouth and pray the Spirit fill it like David said to pour out a good word to the Queen and Mother of God. I will celebrate her feast with joy and gladness and sing to her merrily lauding her miracle. Establish your servants who extol you, O Mother of God, for they have formed a spiritual choir for you. The living and abundant fawn, and graciously on your divine glory give glorious crowns to them. When the prophet Habakkuk heard the divine and incomprehensible counsel of your incarnation from the virgin almost high, considering he cried aloud, Glory to your power, O Lord, O Lord my God. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, who, who were perpetually <coughs> virgin, carried the heavenly God of all in your womb and gave birth to the eternal Son, who awards salvation to all who sing hymns of praise to you. O godly-minded believers, come and celebrate the sacred and venerable feast and the sixth door. O Theotokos, and clap our hands and glorify God, who was truly born of her. Godly-minded three did not adore created things in the Creator's stead, Rather disdaining the threat, the threat of fire, they trampled and joyfully sang, sang, O oh, supremely praised and most exalted Lord and God, 
of the fathers you are blessed. And no man have logu men ke proski no men ton kirio. Get this were the servants in the furnace, then the son of the Theotokos went and rescued him, he who was prefigured then, having been and made incarnate now, is gathering the whole world into his church to sing. All you works of the ages, sing praises to the Lord, and exalt him beyond measure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rest among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that prays praise the Lord. Let everything that prays praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may deem worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and she went and she stooped, looking in the tomb. And she saw two angels there standing in white, (coughs) sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. (coughs) They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be a gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, and she turned and said to him, in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. And Jesus said to her, Do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to, the, to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let's worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate. Your holy resurrection and praise we glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come all faithful. Let's venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let's praise his resurrection. Having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Simono e martun ke poni roni no pi poni e pilsiopus. Ken gireti sin lugus ke genesis don krintisi. Idu gara no me sin silethe ke anmati sikthine se mitiremu. Idu gara la lethian iga ispis. Dagalithi ke kripti estitus, Sophia suedos ami. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be made lighter than snow. You shall wash me, and I will be made 
whiter than snow. You shall make me a joy and gladness. My bones that were humble shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Deliver me from both guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. Kiria da hili mo anix is kito stomamu, me angelisis don anisisu. For if you desire sacrifice, I would give it, but you will not be pleased with all burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God's broken spirit, a broken, humble heart. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall, then they shall, then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, at the intercession of the apostles. O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. <laughs> Have mercy on your God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. We're blessed to continue here in prayer this morning for the Artoclasia, the blessing of the loaves in honor of the founding day of Daughters of Penelope, and we will learn a little bit more about them today later on in the Divine Liturgy, so let us all gather together in prayer and offer these prayers for this blessed ministry. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop Alexios. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, <clears throat> salvation, visitation, forgiveness, and the remission of the sins of the servants of God, the members, trustees, stewards, and benefactors of this holy church. And for all the daughters of Penelope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the protection of this holy church, for this city, for every city and land, and for the keeping from wrath, famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, hurricane, sword, foreign invasion, and civil strife and that our good and loving God may be merciful, gracious, and have favor on us by turning and keeping us all from wrath and sickness, and deliver us from his impending chastisement. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, for those who are far off upon the sea. Be gracious towards our sins, Master, and have mercy on us, for you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Irene Posse, peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. Most merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercession of his holy, pure, and Glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, 
at the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the fathers among the saints, great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, John Christom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira and Lycia, Spiridon and Trimithus, Nectarius of Pendopolis, and hold the holy great martyrs, and the holy glorious and great martyrs, George Victorious, Demetrius the Merstreaming, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker, Haralambos, Eleftherios, and the higher martyrs, and the venerable and God-bearing fathers, the righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, who we commemorate today, and shelter us under the protection of your wings, and guide us from every enemy and adversary, and grant us peace in life, and Lord, have mercy on us and save your world and save us as a good and loving God. Hail, most blessed Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. <clears throat> For you have given birth to the Savior of our souls. To Kiriu de Ithomen, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, you have blessed the five loaves in the wilderness from which 5,000 were fled. Bless also these loaves, this oil, this wine, and all the fruits of the earth. Sanctify those who put their trust in You and fill their homes of those who celebrate today and in Your whole world and sanctify Your faithful servants who will partake of it. For You, Christ our God, bless us and sanctify us and to You we give glory with Your eternal Father and Your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The rich have become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Plusi eptonhefs antepinasa Ida exitus en ton kirion, uke la trotis andes pandos agatu. The rich became poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Gospody po miloi, gospody po miloi, gospody po miloi. Senor tempiadad, Senor tempiadad, Senor tempiadad. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Through the mercy, compassion, and love of mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit now and forever and to the ages <laughs> of ages. Amen. Let us honor and magnify the Theotokos, the mother of God in hymns and in song. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior, greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. But in the sand, 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 in the for his blood mighty the great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. Greater honor than the cherubim, and greater glory be on compare than the seraphim. You without corruption give birth to God the word, and through the Theotokos, 
You do we magnify. He has shown great strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud and the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and not truly the dark us. You do we magnify. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. Tintin me o ter anton heruvim, ke adox o ter an sikritos, don serafim, tina the authoros the dukoson, tikusan the nonthos the otoko, se megalinome. All ye born on earth with festival lamps in hand, in spirit leap for joy, and all you the heavenly angelic orders join in and celebrate. And honoring the sacred wonders of the Mother of God, sing the joyful salutation, O rejoice. They are talk us blessed, ever virgin, pure. Oh. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Agios Kyrios, O Theos Imos. He is the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship at His footstool of His feet. For He is holy. When Mary Magdalene then beheld inside the tomb the angels, she was struck with astonishment, not knowing it was Jesus, supposing he was the gardener. Sir, she questioned him, saying, Where have you laid the body of my Jesus? Then he called to her, and she knew that it was the Savior himself, and she heard. Touch me not to my brothers, tell that I go to the Father. O maiden, you ineffably gave birth unto the prime person of the Holy Trinity, to in nature and energy, while one in his hypothesis Therefore entreat him always for those who of us who faithfully honor you to deliver us from the foes. Else every plot against your loyal person who from protection of you, lady, let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the highest. 
It is fitting to sing a hymn to you, O God. Praise Him, all you His angels. Praise Him, all you His hosts. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you, O God. To fulfillment and the rich and judgment, this glory of us, holy ones. Every breath and all creation glorifies you, O Lord. For be means by the cross you render earth powerless, so that you may show the people your resurrection from the dead as the <laughs> only one who loves humanity. Praise God and his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Let the Judeans explain it, how the soldiers lost the king since they were watching. <laughs> And why did not the stone guard the rock of life? Let them surrender him who was buried, or it, it has risen. Let them worship him and say with us glory to the abundance of your tender mercies. O oh, our Savior, glory to you. Praise him, his mighty act. Praise him according to his abundance of his greatness. Rejoice, all peoples, and exult. An angel sat on the stone of the tomb, and he announced to us the good news and said, Christ has risen from the dead as a Savior of the world. He has filled the universe with sweet fragrance. Rejoice, O peoples, and be exalted. <laughs> An angel before your conception, O Lord, convey the salutation. Rejoice to the maiden full of grace. And an angel at your resurrection rolled away the stone of your glorious sepulcher. The one instead of sorrow is disclosing tokens of gladness. The other then, instead of death, proclaim to us the master and giver of life. Therefore we cry unto you, the benefactor of all. O Lord, glory to you. Praise him with tremble and dance. Praise him with strings and flute. The woman sprinkled sweet spices of tears on your grave, O oh, Savior. And their mouths were filled with joy and saying, The Lord has risen. <clears throat> Truly unlawful thing ones, by securing stone with a seal, you have made us worthy of great miracle. The soldiers who are guarding are aware of it, he has emerged the sepulchre and has said to them, Tell the people his disciples came and stole him while we were asleep. But who would steal a dead man and one without clothes at that? But this one has risen by his own authority a God. Moreover, leaving the grave clothes behind in the tomb. Come and see it, O Judeans, how did he not rupture the seals? For he is the one who trampled death and is bestowing on the human race the life that never ends and the great mercy. Voxa patri que agion premati not in vain were the tears of Mary ardently shed. Behold, she was counted worthy of having angels teach 
future and of laying eyes on you, O Jesus. But her thinking was still mundane, weak woman that she was. And that is why she was sent away and not allowed to touch you, O Christ. Nevertheless, she was sent as her herald to your disciples, and she spoke to them the good tidings and announced that you were ascending to your Father. Count us with her worthy of your appearance, O Master and Lord. Now and ever, unto the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotokos. For through him, from you became incarnate, was taken, Hades taken prisoner, and Adam has been summoned back. The curse has been neutralized, and Eve has been liberated. Death has been put to death, and we have been brought to life. Therefore, extolling, we cried out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure. Glory to you, O to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, Holy begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the Father's right, and have mercy on us. For only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, amen. Every day will I bless you. I will praise your name forever. To the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified forever, amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, 
Blessed are you, teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord, teach me to please you, for you are my God, for in you is the fountain of life, and in your life we see light. Oh, for your mercy on those who know you, O Holy, immortal, have mercy on us, holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us, holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, the immortal, have mercy on us. faithful we're blessed to be here the, together once again for the divine liturgy we thank all of those who are here present with us continue to pray with us in our saint mark sanctuary for all of us who are praying with us from online and from their homes let us continue to gather together for those who are available please continue to light your candles and offer for our saint mark sanctuary to be lit let us all pray together this morning to the kingdom of god Avloi mani vasilia tu patros katwio katwai opnevmatos nin ke ai kais tu seonas ton eonon Amen Nin nin tu kiriu dei thome Ipeti sano thanirinis και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευσαθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενός Θεός του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπάρχει ο Ιωή Κουτούτου και το μεταπίστεο σε βλαβία και φόβο του Ισιών δεν είναι αυτό του κυρίου Δαϊθόμαν. Κύριε Λαϊσό, Υπάρχει ο Ιωή Πισκόπου ημών Αλέξιου του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου τη Εν Χρήστο Διακονία. Πάντω του κληρού του και του λαού του κυρίου Δαϊθόμαν. For our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Kill, Lord, have mercy. 
for this parish and city, every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, <clears throat> wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Through the intercessions of the Theotoko, Savior, Seva. The Lord prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Sonima, <laughs> Σπαναγίας αχράντου υπερβλοημένης εν δόξου δεσπίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα Σον το κράτο και σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα <coughs> του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο νυν και αγί και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise him as long as I have breath. Bless you, whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Lord, raise unto the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. So, Sony Marciatheu, O Anastas Eknekron, Salundasi, Alleluia. Voxa Patrikeo, Eio Plemati, Eminkei, Keisus Eonon Ami. Mononogenisios, Ke Logos Tu Theu, Athanatos Iparho, Ke Katamexamenos Tu Atili Meteron Sotiria, Sarkotine, 
Protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you our good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. When you descended unto death, O Lord, who yourself are immortal life, then did you mortify Hades by the lightning flash of your divinity. Also when you raised the dead from the nether world, all the powers of the heavens were crying out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. Sophia Orthi, come let us worship and bow down before Christ our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, who did rise from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Let 
us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. strength in my song he became my salvation the Lord chastened me and corrected me but he did not give me up to death the reading is from st. Paul's second letter to Corinthians brethren the God and the Father of the Lord Jesus he who is blessed forever knows that I do not lie at Damascus the governor under King Aretas guarded the city of Damascus in order to seize me but I was let down in a basket through a window in the wall and escaped his hands. I must boast there is nothing to be gained by it, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who, was 14, years, who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And I know that this man was caught up into paradise, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And he heard things that cannot be told, which man may not utter. On behalf of this man, I will boast, but on my own behalf, I will not boast, except of my weaknesses. Though if I wish to boast, I shall not be a fool, for I shall be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it, so that no one may think more of me than he sees in me or hears from me. And to keep me from being too elated by the abundance of revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan, to harass me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I besought the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I will all the more gladly boast of my weaknesses that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Peace be with you, the reader. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Find within our loving hearts, loving master, the pure light of your divine knowledge and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel 
instill in us also reverence of your blessed commandments so that having conquered all sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory, together with your Father who is without beginning and your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said, There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate laid a poor man named Lazarus, full of sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died, and he was buried. And in Hades, being tormented, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish and in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you have in your lifetime received your good things and Lazarus in like manner evil things, but now he is comforted here and you are in anguish. And besides all of this, between us, and you, a great chasm has been fixed, in order that those who would pass from you, from here to you, may not be able, and none may cross from there to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so he may warn them, lest they also be into this place of torment. But Abraham said, they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. And he said to them, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. Glory to you. before you and we beseech you and pray you O good and loving God hear our souls cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit and grant that we may stand before your awesome table of holy altar without blame or guilt or condemnation grant also O God progress in life faith and spiritual understanding to the faithful who pray with us so that those they may worship you and reverence and love and partake of your mysteries without guilt or condemnation and be worthy to, of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that with one voice and with one heart, guided by your power, we may give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. desires, pleasures, is worthy to Head and I bring to you, turn your face and run away from me, reject me from all your children, but make me your 
sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer you these gifts of grace for you, O Christ our God, are the offer and the offered. The one who has received and distributed to you, we give glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, known and rich in the ages of ages. Amen. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the Christ holy hymn, now lay aside every worldly care so we may receive the King of all. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Angelicus, the 
Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. that is going to be beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For a Christian into our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account, before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Madness, o Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that united in one mind, we may say, I got peace as a kid is his mom. Kiris said, Your mom got to be him, Kiris. And all his parents turn up to you on in us and in separable. The doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. All together, I believe in one God, Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible in Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen metafovu, pros commentina yenana foran in erini prosferi. Eleon irinis, pisian and eseo. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit, on us omen tas cardias, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Eucharistis omen to Kyrio, let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is his proper right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to worship you in all places of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we fell away, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We thank you for this liturgy which you have been pleased to accept from our hands, even though thousands of archangels surround you and tens of thousands of angels by the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged many eyes soaring aloft upon their wings. Ton epinikyo nimno nadonda vonda kegragonda kelegonda Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, on the night which he was delivered up, or rather he delivered himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took this cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second in glory is coming again. Tasa ek don son, si prosferoman, kata panda kai di apanda, your own of your own we offer unto you in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And make that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that we may be for those who partake of them.
ἐκτὸ τη Παναγία Σαχαράντου υπερευλοημένη εν δόξου δεσφυνισιμών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρία. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who would dwell in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and granting them protection and salvation. Remember those who do charitable works, and for those who serve your holy churches, those who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. We pray especially, O Lord, for those who are enduring religious persecution about the world. For Diana, Elen Eleni, Ron, Lubov, Steve, Donise, Gus, George, Sergio, Rita, Jason, Helen, Tarsi, George, Angel, Rocco, George, Victoria, Mavis, Charles, Gail, Paul, Gina, George, John, for Sarah and baby, and also for Miret and child, and for those who are battling the COVID-19 virus. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, faithful. Truly a treasure to be together once again today. We're really getting into the spirit and the fullness of our liturgical life and in all of our ministries. So the best way to keep up to date with these things is to be attentive to the emails and the messages from the office and the like so that we can go forth from there. A couple of announcements to get us going and then a very special honorary thing that we will share as well. On behalf of Father Mark and the Parish Council, I am pleased and excited to announce that our St. Mark Greek Festival is on. It will take place... That's wonderful. It will take place from January 27th to the 30th of 2022. As all of you know, this is the largest event in Boca Raton where we welcome thousands of faithful onto our church campus and to introduce to them the faith and the beauty of our church. Joe Porus, Porus is our festival chairman, and together with our faithful of St. Mark, lead us through these days of our festival. This Wednesday, very important, this Wednesday at 6.30 in our fellowship hall, we will be having a festival volunteering meeting. Any of you, we hope to see you there. And who should attend this? Anyone who wants to volunteer for the festival in any way, if you have worked for the festival for 30 years, come and join us. If you are just now volunteering, come and join us as well. If you are new to St. Mark and want to get further involved, again, come join us. We will have some music, food, fun, and some dancing to get us all in the mood. We will have sign-up sheets so that you can all be ready to serve. Come and join in us. join us 
this as our 40th year of the festival. We look forward to getting together for this beautiful event. We need everyone's help and all are encouraged to help out. Now, we would like to honor and highlight our daughters of Penelope today. Today, we are honoring the daughters of Penelope at our St. Mark chapter. Today, they celebrate Founders Day, the day that their organization was founded. This Daughters of Penelope at St. Mark is a special group of women because they are truly active in our church. They join together and offer themselves for our St. Mark family. They are led by the president, Ileana, who leads by example, someone who is first in the church. I can tell you this morning, she was definitely one of the first in the church. And someone who leads by example and is first to lead all of those um, who are with her. Today, also in coffee hour, the Daughters of Penelope is doing something very special for us. They are offering the fellowship hour and will be providing appetizers and beverages to celebrate their special day. In the fellowship hour, they will be passing around a simple basket. This is not just an ordinary basket, but rather all the money will go towards their scholarship fund. These scholarships will be awarded to the young ladies, graduating high school students of St. Mark. What a true blessing indeed. Please give accordingly to this wonderful opportunity. Our Daughters of Penelope chapter is a vibrant group of women with a strong Christian faith and commitment to serve our community and those in need. And indeed, we thank God for them. Today, I would like to also remind you that we will be going to St. Augustine this upcoming week. Not just going, we have a full bus going. About 50 participants will be joining us to go and to start our trip by going to OCMC, to the Mission Center. And then the next day, after some rest and fellowship, we will start with Divine Liturgy in the St. Fotio Shrine. We will have the beautiful opportunity to be there to witness this historic place where the Orthodox Christians came and then to continue with faith. For all of those who are attending, you all know who you are. Be very vigilant to your emails as the pertinent information will be going out this week. We also have the Winter Youth Rally, which we just learned is officially on. So I just had a meeting the other day, actually with Father Stephen and some other people, in order to really get the planning underway. So any of those who are participating or still want to participate, see your coaches directly in order to find the information about practice. We also have a family fall day that is coming up on the 13th of November, and it'll be an opportunity for all of our faithful, any age, to gather at Bedner's and have a little fall fun. That being said, I'd like to transition to something very extraordinary for our St. Mark faithful today. Certainly today, our own Ted Vagelos is in New York at the Archdiocesan Cathedral and is being inducted into the Order of the Archons of St. Andrew. Ted offers so much to our national church, serving as a member of Leadership 100, a member of the Archdiocese Council, and a chairman of the Youth Committee. Julie, his wife, is also a very dedicated member and is a national member of the Philoptohos Board also doing a great deal for our St. Mark Church on a lo local level. Together today we pray and rejoice with them. Father Mark, along with other archons of our St. Mark Church, are to be honored with them today. Just a few other distinctions I'd like to bring forth. I can only say this because he's not here today. So as you know, Father Mark recently, this past weekend, when he went with his dad and his mom and some other faithful, he was awarded with the highest distinction, the highest office of married clergy, when he was offered to be a proto-presbyter of the ecumenical throne, a distinction granted directly from the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew himself. We also were pleased, St. Mark really showed up that day, and Father Alexander and Stamati were both awarded officially at that time to be senators of the ecumenical patriarch. And then also we recently learned of Helen Nicosisis being awarded and recognized as one of the greatest 
Hellenistic women of our day and to be given this national honor. So together, as we continue the divine liturgy, I ask that we all stand and we chant with our choir, Axios for all of them. Axios, Axios, Axios. Axios, Axia, to these wonderful and well-deserving members of our faith. Again, having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our good and loving God has received them at his holy altar and heavenly altar of spiritual fragrance and may in return send down us his divine grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. Tegataxios onimas despota, Μετά παρησίας ακατά Χριστός τολμάν επικαλείστε σε τον επουράνιον Θεό Πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερ ημών ο εν της ουρανής αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της ζης τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων δώσε μην σήμερον και άφεσε μην τα ωφελήματα ημών ως και εμείς αυθείε με τους φελέτες ημών και εμείς εν έγιση μας εις πειρασμών αλλά ρίσε εμάς από του πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To nothing in being and you master look down upon heaven for those who have bowed their heads before you they have not bowed before flesh and blood but before you the awesome God therefore master guard the course of our life to, for the benefit and need of each say it with those who say I'll travel with those who travel heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies by the grace mercy and love for us of your only begotten son with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and life-giving spirit now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Cross, come on, let us be attentive. Taiyasti, saiyis, the holy gifts are for the holy. Every Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, 
who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. This is the last line we hear from today's epistle, from the second epistle to the Corinthians. And also in this passage this morning, we hear of something very telling of St. Paul and to each of us we learn of a thorn in his flesh, a thorn that keeps him and pierces him and struggles in the days of his time. And he recognizes before God that there is something, this thorn, that keeps him from full participation with God. Indeed, he is afflicted and is debilitated by this pain and distraction. And this reminds me of Christ's teaching in the gospel, where he encourages us to turn the focus into bettering ourselves, looking to a change from within as a means of healing. He tells us to concentrate so intently on the splinter in our own eye, but not to look to someone else and to say, you have such a great wooden beam in your own vision. This idea of focusing on bettering our own selves and recognizing our own selfishness is present in today's gospel reading from Luke. This gospel narrative speaks of how there was a man who sumptuously fed and would gorge in the passions, and he would neglect to see the pain in his fellow man, Lazarus, who was stricken with sores and laid harmless and almost lifeless at the gate. And this man overlooked the pains inflicted by neglecting to focus on his own well-being. Instead, he indulged and ate sumptuously and feasted on the passions. So there is definitely wisdom in this. We know of the saying of the desert father, Abba Peman, that it is not our strengths that best define us, but indeed it is our weaknesses. And so today, I ask you all to find that thorn that's stricken in your side, to find that thorn that pierces your spiritual sense, to find that peace that keeps you from God. We all have something that can be remedied by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if we simply call out to him and faithfully look to him and say, Lord, help free me of this thorn that pierces my soul. And so our faith is what increases when we face and overcome challenges, thorns, and weak times in life. Times where we call out to God in the midst of suffering and we surrender the pain of our souls over to his great mercy and compassion. And likewise today, 
we continue to know that there are many forces in the world, that there are many who sumptuously feast on promoting sin, on sharing the thorn that we can pierce our side with. So my brothers and sisters, today we are coming to the place where we are freed from afflictions. We are coming to the place where our Lord calls us to be like that beggar who looks for the manna from God, for the simplest crumb that will give him life. And we too need to be vigilant that we don't overlook the person next to us or even focus so much on the cares of this worldly life and neglect our own selves. For indeed, we can have a thorn in our side, but we can see incorrectly the thorn that inflicts someone else. And so, my brothers and sisters, the message from Christ is clearly before us today to reflect and direct our attention within, asking God to locate and remove any impurity, any thorn that we may have that is keeping us from Him. Ultimately, the answer of this healing is before us at this present time. As we lift, listen to this, the Lord's merciful gift, and that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, we may all gather now to draw near. Amen. At this time, as we prepare for Holy Communion, we ask that you faithfully attend to the ushers in the parish council who will direct us to either side where Father Alexander and I will distribute Holy Communion to come forward with reverence. And if you are wearing a mask, remember to simply remove your mask, say your name, and go forth. Let us all draw together. We don't need a napkin. It's right there on your right. With the fear of God, with faith, let us all draw near.
give thanks unto the Lord of Lords, Alleluia, for his mercy and
We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has saved us. Amen. Let us be attentive. Having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You, we thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your <clears throat> heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect... ...son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets who filled the entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts and joins us. Always now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Amen. 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 Forty day memorial for Evangelia Francisco's forty days, for Dr. George Eliopoulos three years, for Calliope Papa Toniu three years, and a twelve year memorial offered for Ioannis Kokinakos. Let us all pray together for the eternal rest. Meta primaton dikeon, tateliomenon, tas trichason zulon su, so teran apafson, filaton naftas, istin makarian zo intin parasi, filanthrope. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Oxa patrike io, que agio pneumati, si o theo simono catavasi savin, que tas odinas lisas, ton pepe dimenon, Αυτός και τα ψυχά στον δούλον σου σώτεραν απ' αυσό. Και νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Only pure and immaculate virgin who gave us birth to God in virginity. Pray for the salvation of our souls of your servant. Meta to na hion anapafson Christ, tasi 
Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon us through his divine grace always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead as a merciful and good and loving God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercession of his all-holy, pure, and immaculate Mother, the protection of the bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, 
of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, and of our holy and God-bearing Father, St. Mark the Evangelist, patron of this church, the righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity guide and protect you on this day and forevermore. Please be seated. Please come forth as the parish council and the ushers direct you to do so, to receive on Dideron. And for all of the parents, just look at the worship guide to know where your kids are for Sunday school. We have a very um, intricate way that we're putting the kids in their classrooms, so stay attentive to the worship guide. Also, for anyone who is able to join us, we have Divine Liturgy tomorrow morning in honor of Saints Damianos and Cosmas, the unmercenary healers. So let us all continue to gather in prayer. Have a blessed day, and please come forth. <laughs>